This program is sponsored by Newcastle County Government. everybody welcome to the chef dana show today i have something deliciously down home for you guys we are doing a cajun butter cod we're doing a barbecue collard greens and we're doing a sweet potato mash this is going to be amazing so first thing we're going to jump right into is let's get these sweet potatoes going you're just going to need to peel them and cut up some of the pieces here so that they cook a little faster in our water right just rough chop them because we're going to end up mashing them anyway, right? But we don't want the pieces to be so big that it takes forever to cook. Okay? We're going to add a little pinch of salt to the water. Just like this. And then we're going to put in our sweet potato pieces. Now, it's funny. When I was growing up, I did not like sweet potatoes. But now, I love them. It's funny how your taste buds change. So we're going to get our sweet potatoes in the water. Get them going, okay? Next thing that we're gonna get going is we're gonna get going on the greens, right? So for the greens, right over here, I've got a few ingredients. I got a little piece of ham hock there. You could always use uh, uh, smoked turkey if you don't want the pork. We have a little bit of pinch of vinegar, a little bit of cumin, garlic, the onions, the salt, a little bit of stock. So the first thing that we have to get going is we gotta put a little oil in the pan, right? And we gotta get our onions cooking. Let's get those onions going. Develop a little flavor. So in they'll go. We hear that beautiful sizzle. Break up them pieces in there. So everybody's getting a nice amount of uh, surface area, a little heat going, okay? I'm gonna season my onions with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just like this. All right. A little pepper. Got to have the pepper. As my wife would say, got to have the pepper. Give them a little stir. We just want to basically get them cooked, get them translucent, so they release some of their flavor in these oils and everything. To this, we're going to add a little bit of garlic. Right? A little bit of garlic couple cloves in there. Get that going. Okay. Once they have sauteed, then we'll be able to add the ham hock, we'll add the collard greens, we'll add the water, we'll add the stock, and we'll let them simmer just a little bit. While that's cooking, let's look at the butter sauce for the cod, right? And this cod is a pretty simple dish. But I'm going to throw my butter in the pan. Let that start melting. Add a little bit of oil. Right? The oil actually helps the butter uh, not burn when it goes to high temperature. So we just got a little butter and oil blend. Okay? I'm going to add in here some of that Cajun seasoning. I don't know if you remember, but last season my friend Tiffany was on here and her Cajun seasoning is the bomb.com. So we're going to use a little bit of that today. Okay, and we're just going to melt our butter. I'm going to take a lemon, cut that in half, get that little squeeze. You my main squeeze. Okay, we're going to put that right in there. So we're really just making a nice Cajun butter sauce to go on top of our cod. I'm just stirring that up so that the butter melts. Now meanwhile, meanwhile, let's get our dish here. We're gonna put some cod right in here. We're gonna put some cod right in here. OK, 
Okay. Now we want to spray the bottom of our pan just to help keep it from sticking. I'm cooking two of these because I know I'm going to be hungry. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to be hungry. We're going to uh, bake this at about 425. Okay, we got our fish. We got our dishes oiled, right? But we need to cut some lemon slices. Let's cut some lemon slices to put in the bottom of our dish. Okay. Just nice and thin on the lemon slices. And they're just going to go right in the bottom of the dish. Now that pan coating is going to basically keep these lemons from burning up because we're going to set the cod right on top. All right. I'm going to put that right in the bottom. Cut up another lemon for the other one. So not too thick, because we want to basically be able to take one of the lemons, go all the way across, or cover the bottom for the most part. Okay, so there's the second one. Okay, now let's get the cod. Put that right on top of the lemon pieces here. See if we can fit them all in there. Big Daddy. There we go. Scoot him over a pit. There we go. So we got all our cod in here. Next step, once we've got this in here, We've got our Cajun butter sauce rocking and rolling. Oh yeah. Onions are cooking beautifully with the garlic. Let's get some of our sauce on here. So I'm just gonna brush this sauce all over top. I'm gonna pour some on there too. Don't you think I'm not? But I wanna get some flavor on the top of this fish so while she's cooking, She's getting some love. You gotta love on your food. You know how Chef Dana do it. You gotta love it. Put that love in the pan. Okay. I'm just gonna brush it. Nice, healthy amount right on top. And you can always take the sauce when you're done. You know what's in the bottom of the dish. Pour it on the fish later. I wanna make sure it's coated real nice. And I'm just gonna pour some across. Pour some across, and then we're going to go right to the oven after I add a pinch of salt and pepper. There's a little bit of salt for each one. And a little bit of pepper. Okay. And then we're going to go right to the oven. I'm just going to use my pan here. So we're going to go right to the oven, 425 degrees, okay? It's going to probably take a good 15 minutes or so. Now I'm checking on my onions and my garlic. Onions and garlic are looking great, okay? They're getting translucent. To this, it's time to add that ham hock. Put that ham hock in there, all right? Then, it's time to add uh, the liquid, which we have the pork stock. We got the water. All right, we're gonna add the cumin. A little touch of cumin to the greens. In Spanish cooking, when they say you wanna put your foot in there, that's that cumin. That's that cumin, nothing like it. All right, so we got that in there. Next thing, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. OK. 
saute. We're going to add the little pinch of vinegar, not much, about a tablespoon or so. Then we're going to add the greens. We're going to throw a lid on there. Okay. We're going to let them rock and roll. All right. So that's our greens going. You see I haven't added the barbecue sauce yet. I'm going to wait just a little bit on the barbecue sauce, all right? And we'll put the barbecue sauce in closer to the end. All right. So we're looking good. We got the greens with the lid on it. We started off the uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, we got our Cajun butter, garlic, uh, cod in the oven. That's going to take about 15 minutes. Okay, let's look at some of the ingredients we're going to need now for those mashed sweet potatoes. So for the mashed sweet potatoes, we have the heavy cream. All right, we have some brown sugar. That's going to give us a little bit of sweetness. We have a mm, pinch of nutmeg. I love nutmeg. Nutmeg's one of those spices, flavor goes a long way. You only need a little bit. A little cinnamon, vanilla, and some lemon. I got my salt here and uh, my pepper on standby. Let's get our pepper ready to go. Okay, you are gonna need your colander. Let me say that. You are gonna need a colander or a strainer, which I gotta sit right back here. All right, let me get a fork because I want to see just how tender my sweet potatoes are getting already. Wow, that didn't take long at all. I'm using that GE Power Boil. Okay, look at that. Not bad, not bad. It's rocking and rolling. All right, let me get my mixer out. Get prepared here. Okay. They're coming along pretty good. I'm going to strain them here in just a second. I'm actually going to switch burners because I know my middle one is my strongest one. Cool thing about these uh, flat tops here, I don't know if you guys have them at home, but on uh, these GE flat tops, the center burner is your power boil. So if you really want something to boil out of control, and let me not say out of control, but boil aggressively, we use the middle one. That's your power boil station. Yep, my potatoes are looking, that's crazy. About 10 minutes and they're already tender. I'm just double checking them, making sure the big pieces in here are good to go, and my fork's sliding right through there. I'm, I'm, a, I'm amazed right now, I'm not going to lie. Look at that. Ten minutes. Okay, I'm going to get ready to strain my sweet potatoes here, and we're going to do that sweet potato mash. All right. Here we go. I'm going to just strain this real quick. Now, if you don't have a, um, a mixer, like I'm going to do it in today, you could always use your, um, uh, like a potato masher, and mash them that way also. And just do it by hand. Okay. All right, here we go. So here's my sweet potatoes in the, in the bowl. Get this attachment on. All right, I'm going to start slow because they were wet and I don't want them hopefully flying out the bowl on me. Like that. You saw it, right? <laughs> like that one piece flew out the bowl on me. That was funny. J 
Just what I said I didn't want it to do, it's doing. So right now, while they're still warm, I'm just mashing up those uh, sweet potatoes. You see how they're getting all mashed up? That's crazy. I'm telling you, it was only 10 minutes. I'm just scraping down the sides, making sure everybody's getting an equal amount of love. I haven't put anything in there yet. Okay. And I don't want to overbeat them. They're looking, they're looking good. Okay. Next move. Let's put in the brown sugar. Get that mixed in there. Okay. Anytime you add sweetness, you do want to balance it out a bit. So we're going to have a little pinch of salt right now. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna mix it up so that the uh, sugars melt in the, uh, in the sweet potato. If I wait too long, it takes longer for the sugars to melt, especially if you were to add something like uh, a cold heavy cream to there. So I put the sugars in here to get that mixed in along with the salt. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna add in my vanilla, my vanilla. I'm gonna add in the cinnamon. These are like my favorite spices in baking. Cinnamon and nutmeg, they go a long way. And I got love for all the other stuff like ginger and cardamom and so forth, but something about cinnamon and nutmeg, they make me all warm and fuzzy. Okay. Now I'm gonna squeeze in, uh-oh, let me get some of my seeds out of here. One thing when you squeeze the lemon juice in here, make sure you take the seeds out. Nobody wants to find the magical seed in their sweet potato mash, all right? So I'm just checking my lemons. Pop those seeds out when you see them. Normally you'd say oh, when you're doing other citrus fruits, say like the lime, it's cousin. You don't have to deal with quite as many seeds, but the lemon, is very seedy. So I'm just double checking here. If you want to, you can even say use your dish that you use for one of your spices and squeeze your juice in there because sometimes you'll even get a surprise. And I don't know if you can see that, but if you see in my dish right there, you'll see that there's still a number of seeds going on. Even after you saw me pluck them out, you still end up with some more seeds in there. So I'm just gonna grab a spoon Pull those couple out. Okay. Because again, we do not want the seeds in our sweet potato mash. All right. Now the lemon juice in here, it actually um, keeps you from using uh, so much salt so I'm gonna pour about half the juice in there and then I'll taste it. And I'll determine if I needed the other half. Okay, lemon juice is in. Let's add the heavy cream. This is gonna make them smooth. Nice and creamy. Nice and creamy, baby. And as with any time, whenever we're using the mixer, we're gonna stop it, scrape down the sides, turn it back on. We wanna make sure we're getting everything off the sides here. I'm lucky because my scraper has a pretty good little rubber piece on there, or the paddle, should I say, of my mixer has a, this little rubber piece on there, so it actually comes around and gets the sides pretty good. But we still wanna make sure everybody's at the party. All the spices, all the goodies and so forth. Okay. Let's give it a quick mix. And now I'm gonna taste it. Never trust a chef that doesn't taste his own goodies. That's pretty good. I must say so myself. Mm-hmm. It's funny, I catch that little hint of lemon in there. I don't think I need any more lemon juice, so I'm gonna let that hang out. Okay, that's our sweet potato mash. I'm gonna check on my, on my greens real quick. 
All right, they are bubbling away. All right, I wanted to let the stock start to do its thing. Now this is the quick version of collard greens. If I was at grandmom's, grandmom's gonna do it. It's gonna be that four hour collard greens. But we're gonna keep the uh, top on here and let it bubble away. The greens take about 15, at least 20 minutes to start to get tender. What I want to do is pull the flavor out of this ham hock, which is why I'm keeping the lid on here for the most part, okay? Get that flavor to start coming out. Now that the greens are going, now I'm going to add the uh, barbecue sauce to this. Okay, we're going to stir that in there with that barbecue sauce. Right, and it's just gonna give it a little bit of extra sweetness, a little bit of a smoky flavor and so forth. I'm gonna grab a spoon because I wanna taste the, the broth that it's sitting in. And if you want a little bit more barbecue flavor, then hey, you add a little bit more barbecue to yours. That's pretty good. But I want, I'm gonna grab a little more barbecue sauce. All right, where am I at here? Here we go. That's pretty good. But I'm a barbecue dude. I want a little bit more sauce in there. All right, so I added about two more tablespoons. Two more tablespoons of sauce to my greens. Or as we say to the, uh, if you ever heard the phrase pot liquor. I remember I was cooking at a demo in North Carolina, and I'll never forget this. My, my, my grandmother, she's from Maryland, and this little old woman came up, and she's like, how's that pot liquor? I was like, I, I, I didn't have a drink today. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and she's like, the pot liquor. And I'm like, pot liquor. And she's like, the pot liquor, the, the, the broth from the greens. I said, oh. I had to call my grandmother, true story, right after the uh, session. Grandma, you never told me about pot liquor. She said, oh, that's, that, that's the water from the greens, baby. That's the water from the greens. All right, I'm gonna peek at my cod here. My cod's coming along well. I'm gonna give it another five minutes or so, but I can see the juices in there. The fish is starting to turn opaque, which is what we want. Let me get my sweet potato mash out of here. Let's get that to the bowl so we can get ready to eat. We're going to get a bowl for some of our greens. And we're going to need something for that cod. Let me get out a hot plate or a hot thingy real quick. There we go. Put that on when it comes out the oven. All right, so let's get our mash out. Scrape your, scrape your paddle. If you have a glass bowl like me, do not hit your paddle on the sides of the bowl. I know for all those mixer users out there, that's our normal move, right? We come in there and we tap, 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 but not if you're using the glass bowl, all right? Don't do it. Okay, we're gonna get that to the bowl. Now today we're just doing a straight sweet potato mash. If you wanted to add something yummy to that and you want to do some other things to it, like when you're going out, you could do some bacon crumbles on top. You could do butter. You could even do a pinch of sour cream. That would work, right? But that's just simple sweet potato mash. Let's take a look at our greens here for a second. Man, that's smelling good. Told you, 30 minutes or less. Look at these greens. Hold on, where's my spoon? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, baby. Look at how the greens are already breaking down. See that? How they get nice and limp. Nice and limp. The daddy takes one of these greens.
Mm-hmm. That is good. That is good. Okay. Let me get these barbecue greens up in this bowl. All right, here's our barbecue collard greens. And you could do this same um, thing with your turnip greens, or you could do them with, um, uh, what's the word for it, with your kale. My mother, God bless her soul, she's gone now, but my mom was a kale fanatic. Um, she grew up on the country. Um, they had fresh bread every day and they had all sorts of greens growing out in the field all the time. So one of her favorites was always the kale. Her number two was the collard greens. So whenever I have greens nowadays, I think about my mom all the time because she would definitely be there, greens at almost every meal. Spinach, she grew all that stuff. All right, let's take a look at the fish. Take a look at our fish. Fish is looking pretty good. All right, I think it needs just another second. I'm gonna get my thermometer though, so I won't be fibbing. Now with this fish dish, um, today we're using cod. You can use pretty much most of the white fishes. Um, you could also do salmon, salmon's gonna be amazing. Um, you could also do um, like a tilapia. Tilapia would be pretty dope as well, all right. You could do snapper, but a lot of times with snapper, I like to do the um, I like to do the uh, blackened seasoning on the snapper. Okay, fish is looking good. I'm gonna pull a piece of this out of here. All right, let me get a plate. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull my little pieces out. My little pieces are looking good. I give you guys a peek. This right here. Okay. Uh oh. Daddy's breaking them. Wait a minute. Okay. Here's another one. There we go. So here is our Cajun buttered cod. I'm gonna let my other big ones rock and roll a little bit longer. So we got our sweet potato mash right here. We got our barbecue collard greens and we have our Cajun buttered cod. Simple, quick, easy amazingly it's a 30 minute meal if you have everything prepped and all together um, and you can throw it together something down home something delicious thank you guys for hanging out with me today it's been a pleasure tune in next time to the chef dana show right here on DETV. thanks a lot guys <laughs>